A longer one this time, and there is Sedgley. And Lineker was in there, it was hooked away by Chettle from behind the goalkeeper. And Sedgley has a shot. Well, Forrest had men back there, and Mark Crossley was pleased about it because the ball went behind him as Lineker tried to get in, and there was good cover. Chettle, notably, was there for Forrest. As Lineker forced the ball past the keeper, number five, Chettle clears. Glover. Oh, that's a good little ball. Gary Charles was well forward. Definitely a foul. There's, there's an injury there at Paul Gascoigne, who, who was the one who lunged for Gary Charles. Gary Charles, for me, could be very much a key player, because the way Howes is shadowing Clough, Spurs haven't got anyone out wide, and he can make these sort of runs here. Paul Gascoigne, I mean, it's a terrible tackle. I mean, you know, this time he was never going to get the ball and uh, very rash and he's hurt himself doing it and uh, it's not his strongest point as we've had two now bad challenges from him although he's, he's settled down keeping possession in his normal manner and, and he's enjoying the fact that he's not uh, in fact got a man marker on him today Splendid shot by the Forest captain to give Brian Clough's team the lead in the cup final. And what Gasco ended in the semi final against Arsenal, Pierce produces against Tottenham in the final. Superbly driven, Gasco is still hobbling after giving away the free kick from which Pierce puts Forest into the lead. It's the perfect strike with the left foot 16 minutes gone Gascoigne is down and the Tottenham physio rushing onto the pitch now we have all sorts of drama here he looks to be in a bad way and the substitute is already being prepared early in this cup final with Spurs still not having really recovered from the shell shock of the Stuart Pearce goal they lose the man who's individual performances were so responsible for getting them to the cup final as Lineker catches so uh, Chettle on the wrong side for a moment there following up here is Samways that's Allen's touch offside offside Gary Lineker put the ball in the net but the linesman on the near side is flagging it won't stand this is Paul Allen who makes it possible now well if you're level, you're onside. And, on and they've got five forwards up here. Glover, number 10. Ian Wone again. Oh, chances here. Gary Crosby was free. Storsvet saves. And what an opportunity for Forrest to have gone 2 0 up. Eric Torsvet gets the credit. Well, I think you've got a credit to Torsvet there, but he spread himself. It's an excellent move. Stewart. Oh, it's a good ball to Lineker. A real opportunity here for Tottenham. Penalty. Now, what does the referee do about the goalkeeper? Lineker has been brought down by Crossley. Spurs have a penalty, but in the Football League this season, referees have been sending goalkeepers off if they call it a deliberate foul to prevent a goal-scoring opportunity. I don't think he should be sent off because I think a penalty is a just enough punishment for an incident like that. And I hope the referee agrees with me. But Gary Lineker is the man who takes the Tottenham penalties and now on his shoulders, shades here of uh, the World Cup. And Crossley has saved it! And follows Dave Besant as a goalkeeper who saves a penalty in an FA Cup final. Extraordinary. And now Brian Clough just wipes his chin. But a quick shot of Paul Walsh there. But here's Paul Allen and Paul Stewart with a chance for Spurs. And the equaliser! Paul Stewart scores and Spurs are back in the cup final. Naeem got the ball across to Paul Allen who really made inroads there. Lineker was one side of him, but Stewart was the other. 
and Stewart coming in from the angle drives that with great accuracy and venom past the right hand of Cosley and into the far corner and Paul Stewart who scored Spurs first FA Cup goal at Blackpool in the third round which suggests it might be an outswinger they've got Sedgley there too Howes is in there oh clawed away by Crossley cut the Spurs instead it's 30 minutes of extra time quite a common occurrence in recent Wembley finals and just wonder whether Paul Gascoigne will be watching this in hospital. But Terry Venable's team came back without him to turn things around in the second half. And now will Brian Clough get some words across to his team? But perversely, he sits on the bench, does not move, feels no need to go over and say anything. And he leaves it to Archie Gemmell and Liam O'Kane. Vanden Howe. Here comes Walsh. That's looping a bit. Hit the bar. Extraordinary. From Paul Walsh, who can't believe his luck. The goalkeeper's injured. But this was a real looper from the left side by Paul Walsh. Over Crossley, against the crossbar. And the keeper hurt as he fell behind the line. Certainly he beat Gary Charles very well here in the air, Paul Walsh, and he wasn't quick enough backpedalling, was he, Mark Crossley? Corner to Spurs. In goes Stewart. Oh, a chance at the far side, and it's in! An own goal, I think. I think it was Des Walker, actually, got the last touch. It went in off a Forest player, and Spurs are in the lead for the first time in this cup final from the corner and Des Walker has the misfortune to put the ball in his own net both forward Pierce is in the thick of it here's Charles oh, that one fizzed through the crowd Oh, it's giving it away straight to Laws. And Spurs not distinguishing themselves in trying to keep possession. They do better just to play normally, I would think. Here's Walsh. And there it is. Tottenham Hotspur have won the FA Cup for a record eighth time. And Brian Clough has failed at his 34th attempt with Des Walker's own goal. And luckily for him, being decisive in extra time. Terry Venables triumphant at the end of a season when there has been so much backroom turmoil.